everyone at Camp Meadowlark. My name is Lisa Stocka and I've been invited by your fabulous teacher, Matt Derland, to just give you guys a little chat. So um, you may not know why am I talking to you? Who is this strange lady? Well, um, I was the original Sophie in the musical Mamma Mia in the whole world. So when it opened in 1999 in London, I created the part of Sophie, obviously with the writer and the director and, and everyone. And uh, I hear that you guys were supposed to do Mamma Mia the Musical and obviously with everything going on, everything is up in the air. It's really hard right now for young people. Um, you know, a lot of things being put on hold, but I'm sure, you know, you guys are strong, you can do this and you're pulling through. So it's been a weird year for everybody, including myself. Um, so yeah, just stick with it in 2021. Woo, it's gonna be a great year. So anyway, I thought I would talk to you a little bit about um, what my experience was like. So I actually, Mamma Mia was my first professional part ever, which was really unexpected also for me because I was expecting to um, kind of go the normal route of hopefully getting into ensemble and then maybe one day play a leading role. So I graduated from the Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts in Liverpool um, in 1998. Uh, Paul McCartney from the Beatles started that school. And so I got to meet him too. So <laughs> it's been a little crazy, but yeah, graduated and I got that role and um, I honestly thought that made a mistake because, you know, it was so unusual to be so new and so inexperienced. So I had a lot, I had a lot to learn. I had a very steep learning curve. So even though I'd studied acting for three years, it was very different doing it for real in a Western theater. Uh, but it was amazing. I had so many people that helped me, support me and mentor me. Um, and I learned so much by watching other people. And I'm sure, you know, in your um, amazing Camp Meadowlark that you guys too are so supported there by everyone who works there, including Matt. Um, and that's so nice. You know, we are so lucky to be performers because we don't work on our own. We work collaboratively with other people. Um, and that was what it was like. So yeah, it was just an amazing experience. And I especially remember, I mean, it was so, uh, incredible to me to meet Benny and Bjorn from ABBA because I'm a lot older than you guys. Okay. So I'm 45 years old. <laughs> so when I was a little girl, um, ABBA was popular, uh, really popular. And it was the height of their fame. In fact, when I was little, so I obsessively listened to their ABBA album called the album for years. I knew all the words I imagined I was those girls, Agneta and Frida, and I loved it. And chess was one of my favorite musicals, etc. So when I actually got to audition and, and meet them uh, and, and work with them, that was crazy, really, really uh, surreal experience. But they're like most people who are successful, they were super down to earth and so lovely. And um, yeah, that was a really magical experience. Um, and opening night, was like a blur. <laughs> I remember the carp, the, the, um, oh my God, the curtain going up. I can't even talk anymore. The curtain going up. And I remember thinking to myself, you know, I just took a breath. I looked at my spotlight, uh, the people who, who lit my spotlight for me. And I always gave them a wave. It was one of my rituals and I gave them a wave and I was just like, we can do this, you know, we've practiced for this. And uh, we did. And I, I almost don't remember that show because I was so focused. I was so concentrated on just don't mess it up. <laughs> that was all I cared about because I knew the critics were in. So we all just wanted to do that show as well as we could. Um, and it was an amazing year. I met very darling friends. We're still friends to this day. Um, it was an incredible cast. And yeah, 21 years later, here we are. It's so bizarre to think about. Um, and then last year, you might have seen, did you guys watch the Oscars? Because in February, 
In Norway, you might see frozen behind me here and wonder why, she, why is that there? Um, in Norway, I'm the voice of Elsa in Disney's Frozen films, all of them, Frozen 1, Frozen 2, the short films, the cast album, all of it. And uh, so I've had the pleasure of recording all of these amazing songs for Frozen. And um, in, in February, I was invited to be one of the nine Elsas to sing with Idina Menzel and Aurora at the Oscars at the 92nd Academy Awards. So I got to walk the red carpet. It was honestly a dream come true. And like I said, I'm 45 years old with two kids. My oldest is 17. It's probably not far away from your age. Um, but my point is, it's never too late to reach your dreams. And you guys are right at the start. You're right at the beginning of your careers. And I came from a tiny, tiny town in the Arctic of Norway called Tromsø, above the Arctic Circle, Northern Lights, you know, snow. It was basically like what Elsa has it like. It was like that. <laughs> and, you know, we didn't have a lot of opportunity. I went to every class that I could that was there, but, you know, there was no, no one really facilitated your dreams. I was laughed out of school. I mean, everyone laughed at me when I told them my dreams. So just know that if you have a fire in your belly, if you just know that you're destined for something greater, if you're willing to work hard, if you're willing to be kind and generous to other people, to be you know, um, to be good at working collaboratively with people, but at the same time, you know, be sure of who you are, really work that out, study, you know, amazing writers who can help you with those things. Like I love Oprah Winfrey, Jay Shetty, um, uh, Dr. Uh, Joe Dispenza, all of these people who deal with accepting who you are, figuring all of that stuff out, that's important too on top of all of your skills. And I would say that can really help you in going forward. So yeah, don't like ignore the dream stealers, just associate yourself with people who have the same big goals that you do. And if you don't have big goals, that's cool too. You know, we're all different. Um, but yeah, really trust yourself and just go for it and be willing to work hard and you will get there. And I hope next year is going to be fantastic for you. I love you so much. And yeah, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Lisa Stokey and I'm on um, all the social media. Give me a message if you saw this video and, and say hi to me. And in fact, you're called Camp Meadowlark. I played The Baker's Wife in the musical The Baker's Wife by Stephen Schwartz. And I was nominated for that role actually for an off West End award. It's like off Broadway and loved it. And Meadowlark, my version is on YouTube. So you can go and find that. Anyway, have an awesome Christmas. You guys keep your heads up. Don't worry. Things are going to be okay. You guys are going to be okay and just go for it. Bye.